What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, having a great day so far. And if you had to take a test for the viruses, I hope you have tested negative. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Virus Update for Wednesday, September 10th, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. There's a lot of viruses out there, but not enough media coverage. That's where I come into play. I look for anything I can find to give you the latest news, data, posts from X, wastewater. I literally mean anything I can find to help keep you safe and informed of what's going on with these viruses. Want to stay informed? Just subscribe to my channel down below. If you're new here, give this video a thumbs up as well if you like today's video. So if you're new, subscribe, like the video, share this with anyone you know, hit that notification bell, and of course, anybody, if you have a comment, leave it down below. Alrighty, not a terribly busy news day. Uh, probably will be a shorter video, at least I think. We're going to take a look at some news, uh, some weekly data, which means uh, measles that has come in for the United States. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the hospital situation, EMS, locally in my area, and New Jersey. And then we're going to take a look at New York State and some wastewater data. A couple things to point out in wastewater today. And uh, one of them would be the national level of COVID, because look at this. PMC and WHN in near perfect agreement now. PMC being my quarter. And then we also see that he uh, quote tweeted Jelly Roll Blues. What's that agreement about? Well, if you saw the Saturday edition of the virus update, you know that the U.S. did hit 1 million estimated cases of COVID a day. And it looks like there's agreement that happened. We may still be at that level. Uh, I've been talking about the word peak a lot lately. Uh, we may have peaked. We may still be going up a little bit, but I don't think we're dropping just yet. And I do have a wastewater scan data, which we'll look at at the end here, that shows, yeah, we may still be pretty far up there. And if you look at these charts right here, at least the charts from Jelly Roll Blues, yeah, we're still up there at this time. So there are still a lot of cases going around. There's a lot of people sick right now. Uh, we're starting to see various different viruses pop up with back to school. Yeah, and then there's this, Florida, which is one of the harder hit places of the summer COVID wave. And guess what? They're still very high. And Mike says, I don't know how anyone can look at this map and suggest Florida needs fewer protections against infectious diseases. We all know what he's referring to. Florida doesn't want to do anything in regards to vaccination anymore. They want to recommend against it. They want to take it away from childhood vaccines. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. One in 22 estimated actively infectious per his uh, PMC data in Florida. All right, moving on to this. I thought this was interesting. I saw this making its rounds on social media. Also saw it when I did my Google searches. Dogs exposed to COVID positive people show increased risk of infection. That's right. A surveillance survey published in Virus Research finds an almost 70% elevated prevalence of SARS-CoV-2 antibodies in the blood of pet dogs exposed to the virus in their home. So if you have a dog and maybe you've had COVID, there is the chance your dog may have had COVID. Yikes, that's not good. That's not a good thing at all. Um, and mind you, we don't know what the long-term effects are of COVID in dogs. There's a lot we don't know about that. Uh, moving on to this, in Kentucky, this season flu and COVID vaccines are now available at Kentucky pharmacies. Yes, the uh, Kentucky Board of Pharmacy updated their guidance, and they're going to allow pharmacists to administer the vaccines in advance of the CDC's recommendations. I'm also hearing New Jersey is going to uh, allow whoever wants a COVID vaccination, you'll be able to get it in over in the state of New Jersey as well. All right, remember yesterday we did a poll. Have you had COVID at least one time? 64.5% of the people said yes. 35.5% said no. That was out of 701 votes. We're not going to read the comments because I didn't leave a note there saying some comments would be used on this video. But you get the point here. Uh, the majority said yes. I'm surprised that still 35.5% said no. But a part of me wants to think that, you know, being X, being there's a lot of who knows what on X. It's a very random poll. Maybe there's some people that never even bothered to test and they posted no. All right, moving on to this. Uh, interesting change. Yeah, COVID 
you know, the virus that we talk about probably the most here on the channel. It's kind of the virus that started the channel, then we branched off into the virus update. COVID is no longer the top 10 uh, leading causes of death in the United States. However, someone's saying, see, we told you it was just the flu. Well, guess what? The flu is not either. COVID would be number 11 now. Heart disease is number one. Cancer is number two. Unintentional injury is number three. Stroke, number four. Chronic lower respiratory diseases is uh, number five. Alzheimer's disease, then, yeah, Alzheimer's, it's bad. Uh, I had a grandmother who had it, and uh, unfortunately, yes, that's how she died. I was actually her caregiver. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, let's see, one, two, four, five, that's number six, diabetes is number seven. I have a relative that died of that as well, back in the early 2000s. An aunt, uh, yeah, kidney disease is up there at number eight. Chronic liver disease is uh, number nine, and then suicide is number ten, and I assume COVID would now be number 11 because suicide is what pushed it off. Now, mind you, this year's not done for COVID deaths, but it's unlikely we're going to have 48,000 COVID deaths this year. And I know one can make the argument and say, well, there's Essex deaths. Uh, well, he had this or that during the time of being positive for COVID, but that really wasn't put down as COVID. Yeah, there's all those different cases that could be made. But right now, they're going with it is uh, off the top 10. Hey, we got to admit something here. That is a significant improvement from 2020, 2021, 2022, and so on. I mean, so we've made some grounds here. We haven't made enough grounds. Of course, long COVID is real. Uh, there are millions of people with it. I can raise my hand to it. At any given time, a long COVID issue could pop up for me. Um... Uh, today I've been slightly tired, but I don't know if that's the long COVID chronic fatigue type issue popping up or not. We're having some really dreary, gloomy weather today. And plus, I didn't sleep well last night. I woke up 3 o'clock in the morning and had a heck of a time trying to go back to sleep. Maybe I'll sleep better tonight. All right, thought this was interesting. Decided to run some of my searches in Google Trends since today's not a terribly busy news day. I, mean, I was looking for things, not find it. Hey, that's a good thing. We'll take some uh, slow news days. But I happen to notice, when you go to Google Trends and type in COVID, look at this. Now, this is uh, set up for the last 12 months. It's the highest that we have seen since, let's see, the current value is showing 86. Uh, the highest number since, we have to go back to uh, September of last year. September into October of last year. So that's pretty interesting. But again, uh, if you zoom this out. And we will go back to the past five years. You can see it hardly shows up on the map. But when you go to a closer zoomed in, it is the highest. And you can see it here. It's the highest that we've seen in almost a year. It's because COVID is running higher right now. And take a look at Vermont. When you go state by state, what's what's the deal with that uh, past five years? Even in Vermont, it is going upward. Uh, let's take a look. There's some other things here. Uh, symptoms of COVID. Uh, long COVID infection. Let's see what happens when we click on that. Over the, uh, That's only Vermont. We want the United States. And let's see what the uh, search is for that. Okay, so not terribly high search volume for that. But you get the idea here. A uh, few more people are starting to search the term COVID in the United States at this time. All right. Measles update. As of September 9th, there have been in the United States a total of 1,454 measles cases it says among the these 1433 cases were reported by 42 jurisdictions I'm not sure why there are two different numbers there but you get the idea 1454 cases and take a look at this still 92 percent of the cases are in the unvaccinated or unknown category only four percent had one or two doses of vaccine four percent for one four percent for two so yeah only eight percent had some sort of the vaccine. Yeah, yeah. how about that? Uh, mainly unvaccinated. Maybe take a hint, certain someone who's in charge of our HHS. Yes, I'm talking about RFK. Oh, he drives me nuts. He absolutely drives me nuts that we have someone who's uh, who should not be in that position whatsoever. And then, of course, I get some comments saying, well, you shouldn't be doing this. No, I'm just reporting to you. I'm just a reporter. That's all I am. Take the information as you will. All right. Bird um, migration here. Take a look at this. 
Bird migration was a little bit slower last night to the south compared to previous nights. But hey, birds are still migrating south now for the winter. It is that time of the year. Let's see. Anything to take a look at the website here? Not seeing anything uh, really that I'm that I need to draw your attention to today. Of course, we have our tracking threads. DataReport.info is my website. Let's take a look at what's going on with the air quality and why we're waiting for that to load. Let's pause and take a hydration break, shall we? Juice is the drink of choice today. All right, we can see here the air qualities in the United States. Uh, not too bad. We do see that the um, Gulf Coast is having some issues. The Northeast is fine, and the Four Corners region is okay. However, I say not too bad, and maybe I shouldn't have said that, because I'm forgetting here. Look at the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's still bad up there, but a little bit improved over previous days. I think it has spread itself out a little bit more. Don't you think? Yeah, that's not good. And let's take a look at this. Something we do not normally do. Uh, parts of Europe. Yeah, we can see some bad air qualities there. Greece is dealing with some bad air qualities. Romania, Poland, Denmark, dealing with some bad air qualities there. That's not a good thing. All right, moving on. Pinellas County, Florida. Prior to me starting this video, did have a whole slew of sick person calls. Yeah, it, did, it just will not back down there. Let's see here. It did a little bit now, but there were several sick person calls just a little bit earlier. So that is concerning. Uh, Philadelphia, 818 EMS calls on Tuesday. Live looking at Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. It does show a couple of respiratory emergency calls. Been a very busy day once again in Chester County, Pennsylvania. Wow. Look at all these calls here. This is 3.53 in the afternoon. Uh, look at this. Sick person. One time. Two times. Three times. We've seen it any more times. Then we're seeing respiratory difficulty a couple times. Yeah, not good. I'm concerned. I think COVID is really running upward here in Pennsylvania. Obviously, you know Pennsylvania wastewater levels, and I can show you that. Pennsylvania wastewater levels did hit moderate just the other day. There it is. Right there. Pennsylvania is listed at moderate. You can see on the chart, we're continuing upward. I don't foresee why that's going to stop. Uh, Central Pennsylvania, not shown here. I wish the wastewater site for State College, Pennsylvania, was still a thing. It's not at the moment. Uh, they've had back-to-back -back weekends in a row. And they're going to have another one this weekend off Penn State football, which draws well over 100,000 people. That's just into the game. Some of those bigger weekends, you know, there's a big one coming up. Oregon, you know, where... Uh, a lot of people come to tailgate. Some of those tailgaters actually never make it into the stadium, so the number is actually even higher. Uh, taking a look at what's going on in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, we'll take a look at what's going on with the EMS calls. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of, oh yeah, I'm seeing respiratory distress show up more than one time. That's not good. I'm going to have to listen to some of this EMS this evening. Taking a look at what's going on with Pennsylvania hospitals. Yeah, we still got a lot of hospitals dealing with problems. Uh, we do see Western Pennsylvania. No issues there today. That's a good thing. Moving on now to New Jersey. What's going on in the state of New Jersey today? We do have a psychiatric issue at Inspira Manning Medical Center. Also, Penn Medicine Princeton still has a psychiatric issue. Uh, taking a look at what is going on in New York State today. 541 cases. Yes, that's correct. 541 new cases reported. You can see since uh, September 1st up until about now, pretty big jump. Uh, there with the average for cases. So that's something we're going to keep watching. That obviously could lead to a few more hospitalizations. New York State statewide hospitalizations currently are at uh, 438 in the ICU, 37. And if we go back to last year at this time, which we would have to go back a little bit further, but you get the point. Last year at this time did have higher hospitalizations. Let's see. Can we pull that up? No, it's not letting us. I don't know what the deal is. Let's try one more time. Where were we last year at this? There we go. Yeah, look at last summer's wave. They got up to well over a thousand versus this summer's wave. Pretty remarkable difference. I'm concerned. I'm concerned not just for New York State, but concerned on the national level. I think we're going to see an even bigger wave at wintertime. It is possible that we do see that happen. All right, I got to show you this. Here's a wastewater scan. Take a look at the national. Yeah, look at this, national for COVID, still going upward. So if we are doing 1 million cases, which, again, I said at the top of the video, it's pretty good agreement on that now. 
that we could be, that we are probably doing 1 million cases a day. Uh, according to wastewater scan, and this goes up to September 2nd, um, it, it's behind. Maybe it's going to start to drop soon. But as of September 2nd, things were still rising on the national level for COVID. So uh, that is concerning. We're also seeing, take a look at this, and kind of normal for this time of year. I thought maybe it was early. Someone told me, no, this is the time of year. Norovirus starts to go up. So that's something we have to watch. EBD 68 is very low, but we do see it's going upward. A little bit but it's not in seasonal onset yet and again the upward trend for COVID it does continue on wastewater scan we're hoping to see that uh, peak relatively soon I would show you the regional chart well we'll take a look at it. here's why I really don't don't take this with a grain of salt you can see that Midwest region short drop that's obviously wrong uh, everything yeah there's some obviously some errors here one thing to take away though let's go down to the south I do want you to see this. Yeah, the South. You know, the place that gets hit one of the harder places in the summertime. Still rising on wastewater scan up to September 3rd. That's relatively concerning. Florida, still high COVID levels. Yeah, we still got some problems here. Now, let's make our way up to Pennsylvania for a second. Yes, Pennsylvania again. Why? I want you to see this. There's a detection of MPOX 2. Yes, MPOX 2. Clade 2 is showing up here uh, as of September 4th. So, and there's a detection there. We'll obviously be looking for some new stories to potentially come out of that. Uh, let's go back to COVID. Let's go out to the West Coast, shall we? Let's take a look at Snow Homish, Washington, and see what's going on there. And, oh my, we still have a rise, an overall rise from about August 13th onward. Overall rise. For COVID. Now they're saying there is no trend the last 21 days. Well, it's pretty clear here on the chart that COVID is going in the wrong direction at this time. Uh, let's go somewhere in the southwest. How about we come down here to Los Angeles? Let's see what's going on there in LA and see what's going on. Yeah, COVID's still going up slightly. We'll take a look at another Los Angeles wastewater site to see if it. Yeah, it's going up slightly, and overall, LA is in the medium category at this time all right let's go somewhere in the south let's take a look at new orleans shall we we'll take a look at both wastewater sites here and we do see here uh, new orleans is starting to drop slightly and let's take a look at the other wastewater site this one was ah, now this one's still rising this is the western wastewater site for new orleans and take a look at that yeah it is still going up slightly and it is still listed high levels of wastewater so please treat that as if uh it's a very high risk situation in that area let's take a look now uh we haven't looked at ohio in a while let's see akron ohio what's going on there akron ohio 365,000 population overall trend is upward most recent update down slightly we'll have to see what happens and we can go just east to your neighbor in youngstown see what's going on there a uh, slight upward trend and it does still list itself at high at this time Alrighty, folks that does it for the Wednesday edition of the Virus Update. Again, key takeaway, the United States right now, 1 million COVID cases a day. That's a pretty high number. That means it's pretty risky out there. So you want to keep yourself safe. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. Also, ways to support the channel are listed down below. I will see everyone again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Wednesday afternoon. Thanks for watching.